Here we are, episode The Tale of the Fire Ghost. Ben's over here making a makeshift uh, Pepsi twist, which I haven't drank in <laughs> fucking 18 years. I've ever, uh, actually, I think I started smoking around the same time it came out. So I was like, my, my mouth tasted like Pepsi twist and cigarettes all the time. There you go. Yeah. It's good times. We, we also looked it up. Uh, apparently, it's still available, just not in America. Yes. Yeah, it's also got Italian imports on it or overseas. So maybe we'll get a gift of that hopefully soon. I like how you said episode, and then we don't we don't fucking know <laughs> because they fucked it all up on Wikipedia. Yeah, see our previous entry of the tale of the finished painting. We were going to order the whole podcast of the. So it would be episode eleven. Yeah. Yes. It's less than ten on there though. Yeah, it says ten on Wikipedia because it's wrong. Uh, hey, I, I remembered absolutely zero about this episode, by the way. I, I had no memory of it. Uh, I'm, I think I'm right there with you, even though, like like I said, like I want to say in like season three, near the end, me and Ashley were starting to binge watch um, season four. And we watched, apparently we watched the entire season of season four. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, they're, they're, starting to go, they're starting to go off the rails. <laughs> well, the, this one starts out with an argument between Kiki and Sam. Apparently, her locker got broken into, and the sweater that Kiki loaned Sam was stolen. Kiki's pretty pissed about it. Tucker runs in, and Kafoli drops the, the whole bucket of water. Now, our theory is correct now, so they are bringing the water with them, which one bucket can completely extinguish the entire fire now. For, yeah, from I guess it's from a, like a lake or something. Yeah, well, also, like, it's only a few, like, it's like two water bottles worth of water that comes out when he drops the bucket. Like, it's that much. <laughs> the whole minute society is ready to kill each other and <laughs> cause me to go off. Then Betty Ann uh, plays mom and settles everybody down. Gary says, Tucker's up and says, sometimes it's hard to cool down. Because the story is about fire. Mm-hmm. Good figure. When given the chance, it can cause horrible destruction. And Frank's face is like, what the fuck? <laughs> and danger can be down when put out. Whatever that means. That's what I wrote down here. What she means. Yeah. Well, it, like, the, I, I guess what he was saying is like, is it really dead? Smokey the Bear taught you to mix the fucking campfire up. You pour a little bit, mix it, and then you put more on. And you mix it again. You make like a soup out of a bonfire. Oh, his name is Smokey Bear. Not Smokey Smo- the Bear. Smokey the Bear. No, Smokey Bear. Look it up. You look up that there actually was a real life bear that was... Yeah, I'm sure. That it was the uh, the whole mascot. What's my favorite mascot? So I dressed up as Smokey Bear for uh, Halloween one year. If I can get... <laughs> I had to get an authority from like the National Park Service or a forest <laughs> association that has a rights to it. Uh, we see some burglars like sneak into a place and get stuff out of a dresser, strikes a match. Turns out to be an old fire hall and alarm goes off. Oh, it's a surprise party. This actor there looked like Lee Bridges, by the way. Or Lee Bridges, one of those guys. Yes. I thought it was him until I looked him up, but it's not. It's a Canadian actor. We met Jimmy and Roxy. Their parents split up, but have remained friends, even though they have some issues. Okay. I'm glad you said that because I thought this was a stepdad the whole time. No, no, that's that's a biological that's father. That's a real dad. Yeah. Okay. Their mom gets what I think is a pager, right? Sure. Remember those things? Yeah. Uh, Ashley, did you have a pager? Uh, yeah. Did you ever use it for anything but drugs? Um, I didn't really use it much at all, honestly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> you trying not admit to for shit. drugs. <laughs> I thought that's what most people used it for when they first came out. No, I mean they use some like we use cell phones now. Like, uh, I you wanted not... your friend to call you, you'd page them with your number. They'd call. <sighs> I mean, I don't. It was really kind of dumb. Yeah, I don't remember anybody I knew who had one, but I do remember like some someone would get a page at a store that's <laughs> the first worker there to use the phone real quick. <laughs> this is probably jokes. Probably. She has to go to the hospital. Uh, the lights start flickering in the place, and some guy mentions the fire ghost. I don't hear like windows start breaking and he hits Jimmy in the hand. Well, yeah, Jimmy is sitting. Well, they're like, there's no such thing as a fire ghost. And like he's sitting in a chair next to a window and the window busts out. Yeah. Okay. At that point, I'm like, 
yep there's a fucking fire ghost because like <laughs> how can you like oh no that was just coincidence <laughs> You know, like they just brush it off, like, oh man, let me look at that hand. That's yeah. strange. Jimmy's trying to act all badass and tries to do it himself. Uh, then it's mentioned that he's showing issues, says, since his dad's not around much anymore. You know, he's at his party right there. Mentioned he's playing a video game, but gets a call to go. And it's all white people in the squad. I didn't see any black people working there. Did you? It's Canada. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to say it's Canada. They ask Roxy to call the hospital. Roxy goes to call mom, but the phone's dead. The lights start flickering again. And then some guy comes down a pole. It says the wind knocked out the phone line. Okay, so it was, you, you were bringing this up. You said phone line or power line? I swore that they said phone line, but they're walking around in there like there was no power, and they've got these, yeah. like, turn of the Candles, century yeah. candle holders that i it just but i mean i guess a phone line and a power line they're all on the same pole no i i think they're two totally different lines although wouldn't a firehouse be like a hospital where like Wire there's backup generators, generators? Yes. yeah yeah you'd think yeah if a hospital loses power there are uh, gonna be people dying there yeah. so uh <laughs> they have to make sure that shit's working but this guy that slowed down the pole his name is jake yeah it's jake griffin jake Griffin. He says to watch the place while the people are gone since they got a call. Uh, Roxy's the same actress who was in The Guardian's Curse, if you noticed her. Guardian's Curse. The one with uh, Daddy Cooksey from uh, Sleet Your Shorts. He was in that episode, the one with the Egyptian. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. See, and she's aged too. Because like they were, yeah, we're like two years removed now that, yeah. at that point. And between twelve and fourteen, I mean, that's a big jump. Fire will do anything to grow, but doesn't mean it's dead. This guy's going on this rant about this uh, fire ghost. Says his dad knows the fire ghost is haunting the station, and the fire ghost hates firefighters. Says he has to be careful while they're at the station because they're because they're the kids of the best. <laughs> Well, Dad, uh, when they start talking about whose fault it was that the prayer split up, that's like the underlying theme of this. But you see both parents. Yeah. And something catches fire in the equipment room, but goes out. And I, I think we hear this thing that says, son of a murderer. Yes. All right. Well, the phone rings. Got it. The phone rings. Oh, the phone works. You're the son of a murderer. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Pepsi twist. Oh. The acid's a bad thing, though. I needed Kayla for this one. Oh, our bartender, yeah. She had no, to go to work. No, 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 no. Because there's like a... Well, when, when we get to it, when we get to it, I'm not going to jump ahead. When we get to it, this could have been a Beyond Belief episode. And... Fun fact for you, Beyond Belief did do a firefighter uh, story, and it was true. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it, it seems like firehouses, hospitals, libraries, like pe- things where people experience very eventful things are always haunted. Yeah, and it's true. Like our, like you said in in one of the episodes, like our our public library has ashes in it. <laughs> And uh, it, it's a mausoleum. But um, so they're talking about is the fire ghost real? And this fire hose, this fire hose like gets a life of its own and grabs the, the boy, drags him into the equipment room. Then a suit of uh, a suit of fire equipment comes to life. Comes in there and like has an axe in its hand and cuts cuts the fire hose and they run from it, but you can clearly tell like you can see a human hand holding it. I didn't catch that part. Yeah, you can see a human hand co- like holding it. Like if it was like the gloves, mm-hmm. you know, it'd be one thing, but you can see a human hand holding this axe. So I'm like, oh, it's it's Jake, and it is Jake that's doing it. Jake cuts this fire hose, which is probably like two thousand dollars. Um, 
<laughs> well, and, went to get this ghost, right? And like, set and saves saves the kids, but they run away from him too, thinking that you know he's this uh, like that he's gonna try and kill him with his axe. So they're hiding from him. He uh, he finds them, and they're like, "The fire ghost is real." He says, "You know, I know you guys need to get out of here." And uh, they're like, well, how do you know so much about the fire ghost? And he says, it takes one to know one. And he vanishes. So Jake is a ghost firefighter. Yeah, I kind of saw that uh, happening, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I saw that there coming, too. There was a too. definite vibe. Mm-hmm. So this guy playing this uh, Jake, his name is Michael Kirkwood. He was actually uh, he's still, still acting today. He was in a lot of horror movies, actually. Isn't I feel that, like, uh, yeah, I really well, Yeah, I can believe face. that. So, yeah. okay, so, okay. We have we have a haunted fire station with a fire ghost and a firefighter ghost, and they're locked in this epic battle of keeping the firehouse safe. Okay, cool. I'm all right with that. Uh, beyond belief, fire like firefighters and ghosts and shit. I was like, Kayla would love this, but she binge watched uh, uh-huh. all the Beyond Beliefs anyway. But um, like okay, right now, right now, this episode is relatively good like i enjoyed it and we're about to hit that point yeah where, like, i know what you're talking about because th- this is the part where actually it left out loud where they run into the police officer yes it, it doesn't believe them I, well, I, hold on, I, hold on. I, in order to in order to escape the firehouse okay they they uh they break out the rest of that window that broke earlier they take a chair and they break it out and they climb out the window and just r- instantly, right behind the corner, <laughs> yeah. is a police officer. Uh-huh. That's then they're like, "Oh, thank God you're here." He's like, "Why would you say that? I just heard you guys break that window." <laughs> yeah. You know, and then he takes them back into the firehouse, right? Because they're talking about this fire ghost, and then then the shit hits the fan go ahead all right so this guy's name is tim post is playing this character here this was his second acting credit but he's like gone on to do some other things here he's been on a lot of tv shows and uh see so yeah, i still acting today but i had a laugh out loud at this fucking delivery line. i gotta put this in the podcast here it is hello this is the police come on out of there well, you get the point. I mean, that lie was like really yeah. terrible. Liver. It was flat. It was all flat. All right. So he's walking them around in this firehouse, tells them to go in the equipment room that they <laughs> thought was on fire earlier. And they're like, well, why do you want us to go in there? He's like, because I want to look around and not have to keep track of you little assholes at the same time. He didn't say assholes because it was mm-hmm. a kid's show. But that's what he meant. That's what he meant, though. But um, then, like... They turn around and he's this like s- smoky charred monster thing. It seems like he was just like in a lot of dirt rather than actually catching on fire. Right? He was just mm-hmm. he, he was, was only Freddy Krueger. He was just black and red and laughing, right? And then here's he like here's the part that like started to like okay, well what the fuck? All right, he has them. They're cornered. Right. If you're a fire ghost, this is perfect. They're cornered. Set the whole bitch on fire. All right. We're we're good. Yeah. Wrap it up. It's good. He laughs and disappears. And then they run into Jake and they're like, the fire ghost is here. And he's like, I know. <laughs> right? Like the fire ghost could have killed you guys already. What the fuck is going on? You know? Where was Jake? What was he doing? Yeah, and doing ghost things. <laughs> <sighs> so he's like, okay, he's craft. He's a crafty one because the fire ghost was already outside the firehouse. Like, okay, why don't you go set a bunch of fires on the whole damn road? You're outside the firehouse already. Now, who was this fire ghost? Because I was trying, I was trying to figure out the whole fucking episode. I know Jake probably went on a tangent about it, but yes, he is the fire that Jake died in. Their their dad saved an old woman. Okay, Jake went in back in the, back into the house to look for more people, and he Jake like the, the Roxy's dad 
said the roof is going to collapse and it did and killed jake that's how jake died and that's why he's a ghost so why is the, why is the fire a ghost to him in form the that's just you fucking i don't know we don't you know that's there's a ghost shit i don't know why isn't he just fire form but i mean like it, fuck i don't know it, it should have been someone that passed away in the fire yeah that made more sense you know me. but uh i don't know man like it just starts to go to shit right here yeah i don't actually other than the ending i don't have much to say about this so okay so now they're gonna try and they're tr- gonna try and kill the fire ghost, the boy. What what the fuck's his name? Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. He's creeping around, finds the fire ghost, and is like keeping his attention. And Roxy sprays him with a fire extinguisher, and then he disappears. They're like, oh man, good job. But he's, but he, yes, you really know how to how to pass. Um, but (laughs) he comes back and then this is like, this was the dumbest way to kill off the fire ghost. Right. Yeah, it's it's pretty stupid. He's he's standing right, (laughs) right below a fire (laughs) thing. Oh, like a spring spring system. Yeah. Please don't. Yeah. Whatever, whatever you do, don't catch yourself on fire because that's way too scary. And what? Oh, okay. I, I'm just not gonna do that, you know. Is it? Oh, well, this is too perfect. Sets himself on fire, <laughs> triggers his sprinkler system, and then he melts like Maury does in Little Monsters when light hits him. <laughs> it like it was so stupid. And then perfect timing, the firefighters are done extinguishing whatever fire they went off to. They uh-huh. realize the sprinkler system went off inside the firehouse, and he's like. The dad was like, oh, uh, what happened in here? And they just go up and hug him. And then he's just like, oh, okay. Like, no, what the fuck happened? Like, yeah. that, like uh, the sprinkler system went off in here. I, I do want an answer. And, and why know, were they so concerned about the fire ghost? If I mean, the sprinklers were in the place. He couldn't do anything. He'd have got put out at any time, right? You'd think. You know, I couldn't help but think of the movie Maniac Cop when I was watching this. I, I don't never that. even heard of that. You haven't? No. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's like a serious horror film, but it's kind of corny for the 80s. We're going to watch this in some point, but that, that's the Maniac Cop right there. Put up on Google. Does he have a face? Yeah. It's all evil looking. What the What <laughs> the fuck is that? <laughs> it's Maniac Cop. He's back for revenge. Oh my, oh, my God. Okay. So, it was so good up until the last, like, what, eight minutes? Yeah. Just like Unfinished Painting. Just like just unfinished painting, fell like, apart. If you if you would just take the time, you just take the time, and explain a little bit. Make it, things it, fit. Like I I would I would fucking I would uh, accept like okay sprinkler system went off and killed this thing, you know like okay that's fine, but dude what the fuck it, like, I, I it got really... so bad at the end it was I... so good <laughs> they do say the fire ghost was never seen at station again i, I felt really let down wasn't by seen the whole before. sprinkler system thing because when the little boy started talking shit like oh anything but fire it's too scary i thought that he was trying to yes get him to turn into fire but i mm. thought it was because they had realized like oh he has to be fire for the fire extinguisher to work. no 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 like the- so like i was expecting you know some kind of thought like that not like oh sprinklers oh yeah no they, <laughs> they, they take a good like three seconds to look at that fire that sprinkler system well i, I don't think i was looking up at that point but <sighs> Wow. I was giving them too much credit. Yeah, and see, that's that was the problem. Back to the Miss Society, Sam gives Kiki money for the sweater. Kind of sun mail moment. Kiki says, we'll split it. I miss that to their friends, and Frank kind of makes fun of them. The group leaves. Like, There's no water thrown on the Miss Society. Uh, this like, kind of threw dirt on it, I think. Yeah, well, because the, the water is gone. Oh, and Kayla had a note because she watched this episode. One page. She said, oh, Tucker's a little pussy. That's her note here. Yeah. Uh, duh. <laughs> I thought I heard some ghost sounds coming from that fire. Also. Yeah, yeah, because when they when they smell it, they're like, "See, no problem." Right. And then the fire's still oh, alive. Speaking of though, 
backtrack. I want a little bit of appreciation for the bad effects when the fire ghost did die. Oh, yeah, and it that just was, like shrunk rough. down and uh-huh. withered. That's what I just said. I said <laughs> yeah, it, like, it was more Yeah, more yeah, from right. Little Monsters. You're right. I was expecting them to look down and see clothes there. <sighs> Not funny. Yeah. A little smoking pile. Uh, that that happened in the uh, tail of the hashing episode. Yes, with the slime. But I wasn't in that. Yeah. One. All right, we got anything to plug? No. We have Instagram. We and have. And thank you again to the RJ guy from the Patreon. RJ Monster, good man. Yeah, and we need to watch this. Uh, I, I need to send him pictures of where we're at with the chair so far, um, because if he's helping fund that, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it straight to him. Hey, it doesn't help to help fund our alcoholism or podcast subscription fees or all the work and time involved to put this thing together. So we need some more Patreon uh, people. Again, Lex will be down there. <laughs>